Ooh, good water. Hide your homies. You guys ready for this one? About ready to be prayed up? All right, let's start in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This one's called um, All That It Takes Revisited from the Percussions. I edited a video with this in um, 2012 for my retreat team. Uh, the last retreat I was on with Al Flanagan, somebody who I remember today and love. Let's try this out. Everyone. As always, in the name of the Father and Son, Holy Spirit, pray up. This is my new design. Whew, excuse me, man. Good to be alive, friends. How are you today? That's good. I'm having a beautiful day. Meeting just got canceled. I can do what I want to do on my day off, the Lord's Day. Let me just catch my breath. So,
Okay. So, well, that was interesting. This is my own sweater. It's called Acts of Love and Crowns. The St. Maximilian Colby. This was a badass right here, dude. You think Tupac, Biggie, name any gangster that got shot up, went out like a G? They were probably hiding somewhere looking like this. Not this G, this OG Catholic. What's he wearing? Well, it's a concentration camp uniform. Dehumanizing. I covered it up, but he always had a number. You know exactly which number it is. I'll challenge you to look it up. You can find a little more about it. Now, when he was first called, like all of you are called, he saw a vision of two crowns. One of white, the crown of virtue. Live a virtuous life. Sounds beautiful, right? He also saw, on the other side, crown of red. And that is a martyrdom. I don't know if you could read that or not. But he was given this choice. And he weighed his options very, very heavily. Like you should always make your decisions very, very heavily. Don't jump to rest decisions, my brothers and sisters. I am an individual on the spectrum. And I've hurt so many people by jumping to conclusions, thinking somebody did something, or just reacting out of anger. Don't let your reaction be anger. There's two ways you could go about this. On this side, you have the water bottle. On this side, you have the soda can. Pretty simple. Which one do you want? The water bottle. Soda reacts. Water is proactive. Back to the crowns. This badass said, no, 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 no. Not today. He said, why not both? And he chose to live a virtuous life and become a martyr. So he lived his life as a Catholic priest serving people all around the world. Well, not really. In Poland, where I went in 2016, and was fundamentally changed when I received the blessing from Pope Francis, as were the pilgrims that were with me. Thank you to Mr. Eugene Park for making that possible. I'm going to put your link to your, your business so people can support you with the incredible amount of love that you saw in this passionate group of young people that are now doing amazing things in the world. Back to Maximilian Colby. The OG son. I walked the lands that he walked in Krakow. But I didn't get to go to Auschwitz. The day I was supposed to go to Auschwitz, some guy named Pope Francis went. A little crowded, so I didn't get to go. But I still want to tell his story nonetheless. He's kind of a badass, okay? He lived him this life of celibacy of virtue and tortured him. He wanted to live life fully. He, he wanted to give of himself to everybody. But he didn't know. He knew he was living the virtue life. He did not know when he would wear that crown of martyrdom. Until one day, they were taken away, the Jewish citizens, the people that he knew and loved. They have a different faith, but he loved them all the same because the agape love, God is love, love is God. The Greek agape, unconditional love. That agape love he had for all God's children, no matter what faith, denomination, creed, color, didn't matter if they drink Coke or Pepsi. Love is love, God is love. I'm Catholic, and you all have these negative feelings, and I get that. I've been hurt by the church more than you know. Ask me about it someday. It was a deep pain that resided in me, but it's simple, folks. We look to nature. We look to nature, and we get exactly what we need to see. The signs are all around us, and they're trying to block you with this. This black mirror, and you're a slave to the algorithm, and you're a slave to the tapping. Live out in the sun. The clouds are beautiful today. Did you go outside yet? Did you drink some water yet? These are all things they're trying to keep from you. Because, have you ever seen the symbol of death? It's a sickle. Have you ever seen it being used? It separates. And God is simple. God says, cleanse yourself 
for I have made you here, and here you will grow. And it doesn't matter if somebody stomps on you, squishes you into the mud, a dog comes and takes a shit on you, or somebody hawks a loogie, or someone, they fall down, pass out drunk, and they sleep on top of you, and they mash you down. And that's what life does, is it smashes you, smashes you, smashes you down. But I say no. You take all that, even the dog shit, and you give it back. Because you once you are planted, you give it all back to God. Ow. You give it all back, and you will grow into a flower. Even the poop, even the trampling, all that pain expressed in intimate joy, in the vastness of the light of the sun. Maximilian Kolbe gave his life for that Jewish man. And he, a Catholic priest from Poland, who had no reason to go into concentration camp, gave his life. And he became a problem. He became a problem because he was bringing joy to happiness through single acts of love. This church says one of his favorite quotes, a single act of love makes the soul return to life. How many you see people on their phone or on their tablet looking like this and the sun's right there? How many people aren't playing with their kids and they're playing with their apps? How many people need to put this down? Go out today. I challenge you to live a single act of love and make the soul return to life. Perhaps it's you. Take your shoes off, feel the grass, make that dinner that you've been wanting to make and about to go bad in the fridge. Stop going to McDonald's. Start loving, start living, and put down the phone for you can live and bring your soul to life with a single act of love. This man was such a problem, they locked him away in confinement with six other men. They tried to starve him. They tried to deprive him of water. And you get more. And they could not kill him. Finally, it came a day where it equated to these six men were taking up too much space. They were taking up too much. I don't know what they were going to put in this space. But nothing is more valuable than you and me because we belong to he. So they went and they gave... They went to give him a lethal injection. And what did he do? Did he cower? Did he hide? No, my brothers and my sisters. He raised his arms silently and embraced the red crown of martyrdom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Pray up. We are in the new evangelization. Wake up. Wake the sleeping giant.